What's up guys, in this episode I go over why I seriously dislike my solar guitar. Stay tuned. What is up, you guys? It's your boy, Luis Torres, back at it, being confrontational and absolutely crazy as always, nothing new. But this video, <laughs> I have a solar guitar. This guy right here. But here's the main difference, is it's a Washburn, okay? Uh, so a few things. Other than the fact that this model is literally made by the same guys that make solar guitars because Ola never changed factories. He basically just said, hey, you know all those Washburns? You want to just switch the logo from Washburn to solar? And they were like, okay. So he basically just kept rolling on with the same contract that he had. Uh, but he wanted additional options aside from just a matte black and a white uh, solar guitar. So, same manufacturer, same everything, same wood, same, um, what, this isn't rosewood, this is what, whatever, uh, ebony, fretboard, literally everything is, is exactly the same. So, this is just right out of the gate being completely lazy. Even has the Seymour Duncan solar pickups uh, with, a, with an original Floyd Rose bridge, literally exactly the same. Now, and this carried over into solar also, is the, the actual front connection for your strap is in the back. So I've had guys and they're just like, bro, I know you have a solar. Why don't you use it? Uh, and I just came up with, you know, different reasons, different excuses. Uh, but in the end, there were just a handful of things that bothered me. And one is the balance that this guitar had because it's not like a um it's not like a bc rich warlock right because the body of the warlock is so dense and so heavy that having it in the back is perfect because it just has that perfect balance between the neck headstock and the body and it's always naturally just going to tilt back um but this isn't this is a super strat so i'm used to the strap being at the tip so literally before I made this video, I was just like, I need to fix it, need to fix it. So I went ahead and, ah, why aren't you coming off? Uh, and I actually put it on the tip. Now keep in mind that if you have an Ibanez, it's basically the same thing. This may just be a little pointier, um, but I just went with a really thin drill um, with a bit. Went with the first one, switched out to a second one, switched out to the third, uh, and that worked. And went ahead, it's in the front, feels so much better. And then here was another thing, and I know, you know, if you've been watching my channel recently, I've actually complained uh, at the fact that some guitars that I have, namely the Solar that I have, the uh, frets were ridiculously sharp on the sides. Um, you know, I watched a few videos and some have said that they put the frets on the fret board and then sometimes the fret board uh, just naturally gets a little smaller. It gets drier and gets smaller, which I can't imagine that's the case when, you know, I've been to Vinnie Federa's studio. Dude, they have wood in there that's been sitting dry for eight years. So I can't imagine that they're knocking down wood you know, making ebony fretboards and they're just like, dude, we just cut that yesterday. Just, <laughs> we have to worry about the frets being too large once we ship it to the US, but whatever. Um, so what's that one guy? McKnight is his last name. I forgot his first name, but I watched the video where he went over a quick tutorial and in the description, I'll put a link to it um, because not my idea. I wanted to share it with you guys. 
uh, because there's tons of YouTube channels out there where you just learn all these little tiny things. So he went ahead and just said, hey, just, you know, use masking tape, mask it all off, get, um, you know, actually have block, um, uh, what? Block what? Jesus Christ. Do I have to stop this video just to, just to change it? What is it? Sandpaper blocks. Jesus Christmas. So, um, so tape the back, tape the fretboard. And literally he's like, dude, just slide your finger through it and then take it and just, it'll pop. These frets will actually pop through the masking tape. So now you're not affecting the frets, the strings or the neck. You're in fact, just, you know, sanding down the frets themselves, because these are sharp to the point where, you know, if I used it long enough, I would have just scrap, you know, scrapes all along the side of my fingers just because, you know, I'm just going up and down, you know, and that's just what's happening. Dirty mind, jerk face. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. Um, so I did that, sanded that down, uh, added the uh, strap lock at the tip of the top horn. And dude, it just feels so much better. So if you have a solar and you wondered if you can actually put it on the top horn, you can. Uh, and I'm using Dunlop, um, strap locks so you can just detach it and attach it so it's literally just a little tiny and there and it goes in about an inch and a quarter so i can't imagine look dude dude like i've had ibanez guitars for literally decades if none of them have ever snapped right off trust me it's not going to snap off on these either just because it's dense wood it's not something soft that you have to worry about okay so I'm gonna go ahead and play this guy. I'm gonna be using my Cherryatone Yeti 50 watt because lots of guys are sleeping on Cherryatone. And if you've never heard of them, shame on you. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. So make sure you check out Nick's uh, website. And dude, the gear that they have is absolutely incredible. And for the price, dude, these are just handmade amps that, you know, if you were to have some boutique company make them you're gonna spend like three grand dude these things are like 1300 brand new in a box shipped from the factory well it's a small shop is really what it is um all hand wired and shipped to your house 1300 done in your house killing it crushing it so i'm gonna turn this guy on you guys let me know what i what you think i the only pedal that i have running right now is my vfe dragon uh which is an overdrive pedal I have the o, the overdrive uh, set to uh, 11 o'clock, and then I cut it back on the Cherryatone Yeti. But this way, you guys get to hear what it sounds like. And dude, I'm sorry if you've never used this amp or the molecular, this one, the Chupacabra that they have. Dude, don't sleep on Cherryatone. Like years from now, you're gonna be like, I should have gotten one five years ago. Yes, you should have. All right, let's have a listen.
Okay, guys, so there you have it. You know, so if you ever run into someone selling a Washburn Solar, just know you're going to absolutely love it. You know, again, the only little minor things was just the fact that me personally, I didn't like the balance. So you can put the uh, strap lock on the top horn and you will be fine. Uh, aside from that, if you have a solar guitar, because I know they've had issues lately, uh, <laughs> to say the least. Uh, but if you have fret issues, just know, again, I'll put the link below to Mr. McKnight's uh, YouTube channel and the episode where he teaches you exactly how to you know, grind down that extra fret wire that's sticking out. And if it's cutting you, you know, that's going to bother you. And that's literally the reason why I haven't used this guitar in ages. Dude, I've had this guitar for two years. You can count with one hand how many times I've actually used it. But now that I've made these adjustments, I will start using it because it's a brutal guitar. So I can only imagine that the newer solo guitars have to be better. Some of them are just absolutely gorgeous. Like... You know, here's my um, Kiesel Aries A6C, and this is an Ash, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's a matte black, and I know that uh, Solar basically make literally almost the same st same style. Ash body, uh, maple fretboard with matching um, uh, headstock uh, wood or or top uh, top layer because it's actually ash also it's ash on maple so guys listen again click on the description below i'll set a link to mr mcknight's i forgot his name i know it's not gary mcknight you know bald guy lives like in the desert somewhere um maybe it's california i don't know i, don't, I honestly don't know where he lives but i there was a video and he went outside and i'm like this guy legit lives in the desert uh with cactus all over the place and you know so wherever he lives it looks gorgeous. Anyway, so I'll put a link below uh, along with Chariotone's website so you guys can check out all of their amps. So guys, again, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button right now. Hook your boy Lou up. What's up, what's up, what's up? And thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best. Hopefully I made you smile. And as usual, I'll talk to you guys soon.